Hi everyone and welcome to this series on Tesla Concept Vehicles, where I look into the potential total addressable market for some of the most interesting concept designs and whether it would actually be feasible for Tesla to enter these segments and take market share. Elon Musk and Tesla are known to make crazy fun equipment and vehicles, like the boring company's flamethrower and the Tesla Cyberquad, so you never know if any of these concepts are completely out of the question. If you want to follow this series, hit the subscribe button down below to see all the weird and wonderful concepts coming up. In this video, we're looking into the potential Tesla muscle or sports car. The sports car total addressable market in 2020 was expected to have a total revenue of approximately 71 billion US dollars, with the United States showing the most revenue by country at almost 20 billion. This isn't really a surprise as US citizens tend to have more disposable income compared to the rest of the world and an abundance of locally made cheaper muscle cars to get their performance hit. With the Model S, 3, X and Y in the current Tesla family, it has two sedans and two SUVs on the market. Soon it will also have the Cybertruck on the market as well as the Semi and its second generation Roadster, occupying the pickup, semi truck and supercar markets. One segment of the market Tesla has yet to venture into is the world of muscle cars. Renderings produced from Car Scoop's reader, Scott Barris, shows what a potential muscle car could look like. The conveniently named Tesla GT has been rendered in both the hardtop and convertible forms and designed to be similar in size to American classics such as the Dodge Viper and older Chevy Corvettes. At the front, the LED light bar stretching the width of the fascia is similar in design to the headlights of the Tesla Cybertruck, whilst also offering a modern take on the hidden headlights used in the 1969 Camaro and Charger models. The side view takes inspiration from classics like the Camaro, Challenger and Mustang. The rear has an overhang which is unusual for a modern electric car but does provide that classic muscle car shape. Tesla has been steadily pushing the limits of acceleration races since their Tesla Roadster first appeared on roads in 2008. These days, sober looking Tesla sedans and crossovers are able to out accelerate all but the most expensive hypercars. In the USA, the traditional kings of street and drag racing were the muscle cars. These were powerful, attractive looking coupes with large capacity, powerful V8 engines. Modern Tesla sedans and crossovers consistently embarrass highly modified muscle cars during races from junction stops. If you're enjoying this style of video, feel free to give it a like to let me know and subscribe for more. One of the factors that drives the growth of the sports car market is the change in the number of millionaires and billionaires in many countries worldwide who have plenty of spare disposable income. North America and Europe together account for a significant market share in the sports car market. According to knowledge sourcing intelligent estimates, the world already saw the number of billionaires cross the 2100 mark in 2019, and is set to witness a continuous increase in this number. Increasing in this figure is majorly attributed to the growth of enterprises across all business sectors, which eventually increases the wealth of business owners. Increase in wealth of business owners tends to increase the spending by them on luxury goods and services. This very factor is driving the adoption of sports cars by customers in many parts of the globe. For instance, the Asia Pacific region, which holds a lot of untapped growth potential for many industrial sectors, has remained a very lucrative geography for investments and therefore witnesses a significant surge in the number of billionaires produced. With this, the sales of sports cars are also witnessing a decent increase across many countries in this region. According to data published by Singapore Land Transport Authority, total registrations of Porsche cars in Singapore alone in 2017 jumped by around 10% as the figure stood at 677 units in 2017 compared to 563 units in 2016. In China, deliveries of Porsche cars surged around 4% in 2018, thus translating into a total shipment of 56,000 units. Since the sport and luxury vehicle maker sees good growth potential in the region, it announced its plans to continue focusing on many other markets across the region. Other manufacturers of sports cars are also focusing on this region with an aim of tapping the growth potential held by it. Lotus, for instance, which is one of the key British car makers, has plans to commence production of cars in China under Geely by 2021. Geely has already started the process of recruitment after the local authorities gave a green signal to its RMB 9 billion manufacturing plant. Tesla has also built its Shanghai factory to solidify its presence in China and the Asian regions. While Asia Pacific is just one example of the lucrative sports car markets, many other regions are also seeing the market registering a good year-on-year -year growth. 
Since target customers of expensive sport car manufacturers prefer to stand out from their fellow colleagues, sales of sports cars with unique specifications is picking up pace. This is spurring the sales of electric sports cars in many regions and fueling the overall market growth. Prominent key market players in the sports car market include Ford, Chevrolet, Dodge, Mercedes, VW, Nissan and Porsche. These companies hold a noteworthy share in the market on account of their good brand image and product offerings. The muscle car segment sold a total of 279,000 units in 2019, up from 274,000 in 2018, with the Charger representing the only vehicle with positive growth, while the Ford Mustang cleared the Challenger in sales by nearly 12,000 units, despite sales shrinking slightly. Given these sales figures from US manufacturers alone would warrant a low volume muscle car produced from Tesla to take its place in this market, and the only electric vehicle available. Coming in at 4th place is the Chevy Camaro, with 48,000 sales in 2019. It first went on sale in 1966 and was designed as a competing model to the Ford Mustang. Four distinct generations of the Camaro were developed before production ended in 2002. The nameplate was revived on a concept car that evolved into the 5th generation Camaro, which went into production in 2009. Over 5 million Camaros have been sold since inception. In third place is the Dodge Challenger, with 61,000 units sold in 2019. From model years 1970 to 1974, the first generation Dodge Challenger pony car was built using the Chrysler E platform in hardtop and convertible body styles, sharing major components with the Plymouth Barracuda. The current generation is a pony car that was introduced in early 2008, originally as a rival to the evolved fifth generation Ford Mustang, Coming in at second place with 72,000 units sold in the 2019 sales year was the Ford Mustang. In continuous production since 1964, the Mustang is currently the longest produced car Ford has ever made. The namesake of the pony car automobile segment, the Mustang, was developed as a highly styled line of sporty coupes and convertibles derived from existing model lines, initially distinguished by the long hood short deck proportions. And finally, at first place in the 2019 sales year, with around 97,000 units sold, was the Dodge Charger. The first Charger was a show car in 1964 and went into production in 1966. There have been several different production variants of Chargers, built on three different platforms and sizes. In the United States, the Charger nameplate has been used as a subcompact hatchback, full-size sedan, muscle cars, and personal luxury coupes, with the current version being a four-door sedan. The sports car market growth is further fueled by investments into research and development. Countries which are known for having infrastructure advanced enough to support R&D activities across the automotive sector are already moving ahead of many other countries in innovation. Germany, for instance, continues to lead the world in automotive research and development, with many car manufacturers focusing on increasing the power output of people's dream cars. Geographically, the sports car market has been segmented into North America, South America, Europe, Middle East and Africa, along with the Asia-Pacific region. Presence of a fairly large number of billionaires and millionaires in these regions has been a major driving factor for the market. The Asia-Pacific sports car market is poised to register a good growth. Much of the market growth in this region comes from countries like Japan, China and South Korea, which account for a significant share of sports car sales in the region. I think the Tesla muscle car would actually be worthwhile pursuing for Tesla. My personal preference for cars is more towards sports and muscle cars, and if Tesla could create their own version of American muscle, this would honestly be my first choice for electric performance, as the Tesla Roadster and Model S are very expensive. This would do especially well in countries like the USA, Canada and Australia, where we seem to have similar interests in sports cars and muscle cars. The muscle car would still come along with all the performance benefits of a sports car, plus the lower cost of ownership with way less maintenance and much, much lower fuel bills when compared to the gas-guzzling American V8 muscle cars. With battery costs riding a declining cost curve, this will bring down the cost for performance and will eventually put it ahead of its gas-powered rivals. Let me know in the comments what you think of a potential Tesla muscle car and whether it could take meaningful market share in the global sports car sector. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more stock market investing and interesting business news. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.